Hi, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install a DPF and an exhaust in your own driveway. If you have the ability, this job is a lot cheaper to do yourself. Use plenty of penetrating spray to remove old nuts and bolts and use a grinder to cut off bolts that are too corroded. Here you can see the car is on the axle stands. I've got the back wheels still on the uh, driveway. So underneath here on the car, uh, we're looking at the front of the car and I've uh, had to take off the DPF because the DPF was blocked and um, this video is going to show you how to install the new exhaust. Now I, when they had a problem with the DPF I had a hissing sound uh, that I couldn't work out what it was but it's from this pipe up here and uh, this pipe is actually burst and the pressure was coming out uh, because of the block DPF and the hissing sound could be heard sounded a bit like a turbo um, blowing so this takes the pressure from the DPF exhaust and it takes it to the front of the car where the uh, DPF pressure sensor is so if you've got a fault with your DPF it could actually just be that it could be a perish pipe so here's the new exhaust, so the left hand side is at the front of the car. There is the temperature sensor for the DPF, or the um, bung for this temperature sensor, and the rubber pipe will actually connect onto that bit of the exhaust. Ex installing a new rubber pipe onto the exhaust. So a bit of WD-40 just to help it slide in place and I just put the clip on to hold it tight so this clip I'm making sure uh, will be accessible when I put the um, new exhaust in place so I'm just lifting up the exhaust over the sort of rear axle beam and rotating it in place and it's not connected at the back it's just I'm just going to slide it onto the uh, pins to hold it in place but using a bit of WD-40 I'm just spraying the pipe to help make the hose easier to slide in place. So it's a bit tricky, but um, there's the hose. And there's the, the metal tube that you've got to slide the pipe, pipe on. And I've got the clip on already, uh, which will hold it in place when it's actually installed. So I've slid the hose onto that bar and uh, there I was just tightening it up with the uh, tightening the clamp in place with a pair of pliers to hold the hose in place. So now I'm just sliding the, hose, uh, the exhaust on the brackets and the rubber bungs and I'm doing the same at the back of the exhaust. So here you can see the hose now with the clips in place Hold it in place, so time to join the front exhaust and the middle section of the exhaust with the DPF together. So making sure you're using the supply gasket. I'm just um, putting the bolts in place. So three bolts and on top of the bolts we put a washer at the other end and a nut. Now the old ones coming off obviously you always get corroded. Um, I didn't realise I was going to do this video when I took the old one off so I uh, wish I'd actually done that but it uh, was a bit of a job to remove the old rusty exhaust. So just a case of tightening those up. So all three bolts. Now getting to the rear of the car, I'm going to uh, install the rear silencer or the rear back box into the car. Now if you're using the old back box like I am, the um, where the two pipes join uh, may need to be opened up slightly so you can slide the back box onto the new exhaust. So 
So giving it a bit of welly and a bit of wiggling, pushed it in place there. So now holding the back box in place, we use the rubber uh, mounting blocks. So there goes one on each side. Sometimes you spray a bit of WD or a little bit of grease, it makes it easier to slide on. There's the left side, do the same with the right. So to join the two exhausts together here, there's an exhaust clamp. So with a bracket underneath. It's quite fiddly this was. and then just tighten those up. So here comes the temperature sensor. Now yours would probably already be in place but mine was ripped off. So I've had to install a new temperature sensor and um, you'll, I've done another video showing how to install the sensor all the way to the plug. So a bit of copper ease or copper grease around the threads so that if you ever have to remove uh, the sensor or remove the exhaust, you can actually uh, separate the two. Of course, when this is all done together, um, you have to, which I've actually lost a bit of video of me doing it, you have to reset the computer to tell you that it's got a new DPF in. So make sure you don't get any of the grease on the sensor itself, so just on the threads and insert and tighten up. Now the factory exhaust, the boss that holds the sensor is actually comes out on the side. So instead of the angle like that does. So just tighten up the sensor, make sure you keep the sensor out of the way so it doesn't catch on anything in the road. And just clip in place. So tighten the sensor up nice and tight. So thanks very much for watching and uh, if this uh, helps you please remember to like and subscribe and uh, there's some other videos uh, to do with the um, this, uh, temperature sensor and the pressure sensor as well if uh, that's at fault to you. And if you've got a block DPF a uh, good chance it could be something like the EGR so there's a video for that as well so please like and subscribe and uh, click the bell if you want notifications on future videos and uh, these how-to videos are notoriously hard to get subscribers to so every subscriber does help so if uh, if this video has been a help to you then uh, please uh, like and subscribe and it helps me make more videos like this thanks a lot cheers